What's up guys, so in today's video we're going to be comparing the Feisty Ferret cage to the Critter Nation cage and looking at the differences. Now I do have both cages so the information I'm about to give you is pretty reliable. They do come at different prices with the Critter Nation cage being about $100 more, so is it worth it? If you're stuck on which cage you should get then this is the video for you. And if you want to support me, make sure to like and subscribe. YouTube told me 76% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed, so make sure to smash that red subscribe button down below. Now, let's get straight into the video. So these are the two cages. This one is the Critter Nation. I have model 162. And this is the Feisty Ferret Cage. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a model name. Next, we're gonna address an obvious factor, the size of the cage. So for the Critter Nation, the size is 36 inches by 24 inches by 63 inches. And for the Feisty Fur Cage, the size is 31 inches by 20 inches by 54 inches. So what does that look like? This is the height difference compared to my hand. The height difference is nearly 10 inches. So, so the Critter Nation is quite a fair bit taller. And next we're gonna compare the width. I have these two cages lined up. As you can see, the Critter Nation cage also comes out a bit more, so it is a bit wider. And next is the length. I have lined this end up, and if you look at the other end, the Critter Nation cage is a bit bigger as well. But when you add all these small factors together, the Critter Nation cage does seem to be bigger by quite a lot. The next thing you might not realize is the Critter Nation cage is a lot more heavier than the Feisty Ferret cage. When the package came for this one, me and my mum had like a ton of trouble trying to carry this cage inside the house. It was super heavy. And it also feels a lot more sturdier than the Feisty Ferret cage. So if I were to lift this cage, I'm trying really hard to lift this cage and I cannot lift this cage off the ground. So. For the Feisty Fair Cage, it was pretty easy for two people to lift it up. And in general, it's just not as sturdy as the Critter Nation Cage. If you were to ask me to try lift this one up, I'm lifting it with one hand and I was able to lift this cage on the ground compared to this cage. I cannot lift this up for the life of me, it's super heavy. And while we're down here, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the different wheels. This is the wheel of the Feisty Ferret Cage. It is a metal wheel, but for the Critter Nation Cage, it is actually a plastic wheel. And it also has a lock, so you can lock it and unlock it. But actually, if you were to ask me, I prefer this wheel because this wheel is plastic, so you might have to cover it when you take your chinchilla out for playtime because they will probably want to chew this wheel. But this is a metal wheel, so they won't be able to chew this wheel. Now the next thing I want to talk about are the pans. As you can see, this is the Critter Nation cage and it has these pans that cover the metal wire at the bottom. So if you were to make fleece liners, it's really easy to just make one for this pan. And it's the same for the bottom, we have a pan here as well. But for the Feisty Ferret cage, it is pretty empty. It's just, it doesn't have the pans to put the liners on top. It just has a wired bottom and the bottom is pretty much the same deal. You can take this out. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty, but it doesn't have any other functions other than to catch the stuff that falls. Yeah, the bottom of the cage is wired like this and same as the top. So it can get difficult sometimes when you're trying to make fleece liners for this cage, but I did make a video explaining how to make fleece liners for the Feisty Ferret Cage. If you wanna check out the video where I teach you how to make fleece liners for the Feisty Ferret Cage, I will link it right here as well as in the description below. All right, next I want you to talk about like the pans that you put in the middle of the cage. So for the Critter Nation cage, you have this pan and it's really easy. You just click it in. So this is the metal thing that attaches to this hole in the cage. So, and all you have to do is put this pan on top of here. And it is basically the same thing at the bottom as well. For the Feisty Ferret Cage, as you can see, the smaller pans, they hook onto the side of the cage. And they're also like, I wanna say like one third the size we see in the Critter Nation cage. So yeah, they just sit here. They just hook onto the side of the cage. And it is the same thing for the one on the bottom, but I have just covered this one in fleece, so you can ignore that one. Next we have the ramps. So these are the ramps. Uh, for the Critter Nation cage, it comes with this felt, which is very nice. And it is Velcro here, and you can just slide it off. <laughs> 
So you can just slide the fleece off and so this is what the ramps look like. They are made out of metal. And we have a second ramp over here as well as a third ramp over here. Basically they are pretty sturdy and they hook onto this bar and they just sit there. For the feisty ferry cage, it also comes with three ramps and so they hook onto the bottom of this plastic pan and it, it's not the best, it always falls off, at least for me. It also doesn't come with the fleece liners. Um, I had to make my own fleece liners for the ramps. Um, right, the final thing I wanted to talk about is assembly. So setting up the cage. So setting up the cage, the Critter Nation cage, you did not need any tools to assemble this cage. You just push everything together. But for the Feisty Ferret cage, you need screws. You needed screws to put the cage together. But in my experience, I much prefer the screws when setting up the cage because pushing everything together, I had to use a lot of force and it's very tiring to it was very tiring to put this case together but if you don't mind that it's pretty much the same process of setting it up except this one doesn't have screws and that one has screws so that is all for this week's video if you watched until this point comment down in the comments what type of cage you have or what you're deciding to get thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you next week bye